Hi friends today we will discuss regarding the nasal polyp so what is the nasal polyp what is the definition the nasal polyp is an proliferative growth in the nasal passage actually it is not the tumor it is among the inflammatory proliferative process now the nasal polyp can be divided into the two types mainly uh, that is if polyp is having only inflammatory cells chronic inflammatory cells then it is called as chronic inflammatory polyp or if it is having the high high eosinophil content in the stroma uh, then we are giving the name allergic polyp the third category is the because of excess of mucus that is called as mucoviscidosis and that will be formed in the cystic fibrosis now what are the clinical presentation of such of nasal polyp uh, such nasal polyp can cause nasal blockage and so patient might feel difficult in breathing and so get it removed and clinician might send it for histopathological examination to rule out the papilloma or any malignancies present uh, but actually our case was only simple inflammatory nasal polyp so let's do the discussion now the any polyp uh, is made up of lining epithelium and that epithelium is from the parenteral organ so this is the nasal polyp so it can be obviously understood understandable that uh, the lining epithelium is pseudo stratified columnar epithelium so this is the epithelium this is the pseudo stratified columnar epithelium and now we will inspect this epithelium in the high power view 4x view so just look at the cells the nucleus in the cells are arranged at a different levels that's why it looks like an multi-layered epithelium but actually it is a single layered epithelium such epithelium is called pseudo stratified columnar epithelium and in the nasal mucosa such type of epithelium is present now the second point the polyp is having the stroma and the stroma is very loose and the edematous this is the very loose edematous stroma and sometimes you can able to appreciate myxoid change and the hyaline stroma as well it can be seen sometime so this is the another characteristic feature of polyp the stroma is very loose and now we will inspect the stroma in the high power view so you can able to appreciate the various inflammatory cells in the stroma uh, this is the epithelium just see the portion of epithelium and this is the underlying stroma and the stroma is infiltrated by different cells uh, these are the different inflammatory cells now we will ins we will zoom the figure that's why you can able to appreciate the different cells so these are the lymphocytes classical one the many lymphocytes are seen these are all the lymphocytes and in the chronic inflammation you can able to appreciate the plasma cell as well which in having the eccentric nucleus so this is a plasma cell just look at the plasma cell having the eccentric nucleus these are the plasma cells okay right can you able to appreciate so this is the chronic inflammatory nasal polyp second point you have to remember is that sometimes eosinophils can be more eosinophil can be in the high number and such polyp is called as an allergic polyp now the third characteristic feature of the polyp is increased number of mucus glands so there can be hyperplasia of the mucus gland all these are mucus glands sorry all are mucus glands these are the mucus glands so it's increase in number this is the high power view of the mu mucus glands Uh, these are the mucus glands mucus gland hypertrophy can be seen so this is all about the nasal polyp if similar morphology morphological identical polyp seen in the sinuses paranasal sinus then it is given the different name that's a coenal polyp so this is all about the nasal polyp hope my video will be beneficial to you in doing the diagnosis of the inflammatory nasal polyp if you like the video Then subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. Thank you very much.